now I can move my head more comfortably and there's less pressure on my neck. The stress test here is Marie shouldn't be on the posture. My grip is reinforced at the front and the back. And we free your head, we can start chasing the back or we can start wrestling from here. Alright, so 3-2-1. So Marie is in mount top. She has a cross face and an underhook. She's trying to set up a head and arm choke. She's trying to bring my arm from her left side over to her right side. Obviously, I want to be able to prevent this by keeping my elbows tight or bridging and like get my elbow down towards the floor and then going into mount escapes. But if Marie does manage to bring the arm from the left side to the right side, it's really important that to defend the choke, I'm gonna go with a strong back elbow. So I don't want a back elbow into her neck because if I back elbow into her neck, she can still bring her head forward and then draw an arc and then you can see that she's still able to get the choke. So two things I can do. One is back elbow when I have enough space up towards the crown of the head and I go with flat hand on Marie's back. The goal here is to keep an active elbow. So my elbow is wedged down towards the floor. If Marie tries to draw the arc again with her head, this should be very hard. If I find that, maybe Marie has closed space really well, I can use my left hand to help me reinforce my right hand to get that elbow up towards the crown of the head. Again, elbow goes down towards the floor. Once I'm happy with my hand position and my elbow position, I'm gonna bring my left hand inside. So you can see that there's still a bit of pressure on my neck with her right arm. So I'm gonna bring my left hand inside and I start to strip the grip. Now I can move my head more comfortably and there's less pressure on my neck. So I'm gonna do a bridge to free my left elbow and free my left knee. So what we do is we bring our right heel and our left heel up towards our butt. I'm gonna do a bridge and when my hips are in the air, I hip escape and that brings my left elbow inside and my left knee inside Marie's leg here. I'm still keeping this strong active elbow position with a flat hand. If I want, I can put my pinky into her armpit here just to kind of keep it as a reminder where my arm should be. So I bring my right leg over Marie's ankle and then I slide my left knee up towards my left shoulder. So this gives me like a butterfly hook and then it gives me a cover. So the grip is reinforced on the front and the back. Marie tries to move around. I can keep her in this position and this will buy me time. So my goal is basically to use my left leg to help me free my right leg. So I use my left leg to elevate here and then I block with my right hand and I free my right leg. Once this happens, we scissor. I retract my left elbow and I block Marie's hip. If I don't block Marie's hip, she can jump and take the back and start working from here. So I block Marie's hip with my left arm. If Marie tries to come towards me, you can see I can circle away. This creates space on my left side for me to roll my head towards my left shoulder, free my head, we can start taking the back or we can start wrestling from this position. So Marie is setting up the head and arm. She brings the arm from her left side to her right side. If I can, I'm gonna go with a strong back elbow roughly at 45 degrees up towards the crown of her head. If one arm on its own isn't enough, we'll have to use the left arm to reinforce the right arm. Again, good, strong, active elbow position. The stress test here is Marie shouldn't be on the posture. I go with a flat hand on her back or I can go flat hand with a pinky into her armpit. You can see there's still pressure on my neck with the right arm. So I need to get my left hand inside and start pulling this elbow down towards my shoulder. Now I can move my head a little bit more freely and then I should be able to move my body. My goal now is to get my left elbow and left knee inside Marie's right knee and ankle. So I bring my heels up towards my butt, I bridge and then I hip escape to get my left knee and elbow inside. My right foot goes over, so that's gonna be our cover. And then I slide my left knee up towards my left shoulder to get a butterfly hook. So you can see I've met an X on Marie's leg. So my grip is reinforced at the front and the back. So if Marie tries to move, this should buy me some time. So again, if Marie is starting to put a bit of pressure on me, so if you try to draw an arc with your head, keeping this elbow nice and strong. Before I go, I switch to a tumpo, so you can see my elbow is roughly at 12 to six. If Marie tries to choke me now, it's gonna be very hard, even with her head able to move. So I lift with my left leg, block with my right hand, scissor my right leg over my left, retract my left elbow, and I block the far hip. If Marie circles towards me, I circle away. I roll my head, towards my left shoulder and we free your head we can start chasing the back or we can start wrestling from here.